factorize. Right, so remember the first step with any factorizing is to always try to take out a common factor. Only after that would you then start looking at difference of squares, trinomials, grouping, things like that. But step one, I always want you to try do a common factor. So if you look at the numbers, just the three and the 12, what is a common factor for three and 12? Well, that would be three. The number three can go into both of those. The number three goes into here um, once. We could have taken out more stuff, but I'm just doing it in baby steps. And then um, the number three goes into 12 four times. Okay, so there's our first step. To make sure that we've done it correctly, if we had to multiply this back, don't do it actually, because then you're just going to go back to this. But if you just want to double check yourself in your test, if you multiply these together, you should get 3a squared b3. And then if you had to multiply this back over here, you should get negative 12a4b. So everything's good there. Now we need to look at the letters. So here we can see we've got two a's, and here we can see we've got four a's. So you can take out the smallest number, which is two a's. So you take out two a's, and then here we've got three b's, and here we've got one b. So we can always take out the smallest number, which is a one. Now, let's see what we have left. So if you look over here, we had two a's, but we've taken two a's away, so there's no a's there. Then we had three b's, but then we took one away, so now we only have two. So we're going to put a two over there, two b's, minus. Now, we had four a's, but then we took two of them out, so how many a's do we now have? Well, now we have only two. And then we had one b, but then we took out one b, so then we don't have anything over there. Now, something that a lot of learners do is they forget to, or they, they, they get this first step, and then they think they're done. But remember, it's a three mark question. That would probably only get you one mark. So now what you do is you move on, okay? So we've done common factor. Now we look, what can we maybe, what more could we do? So if you look at this bracket over here, it's b squared take away 4a squared. So how many terms do we see there? Well, that is two terms separated with a minus, and each term is a perfect square. Why? Because b times b would give you b squared, and 2a times 2a would give you 4a squared. So this is a perfect difference of square. So we go on to the next step. We say 3a squared b. Then we open up two brackets, because remember, that's what we do with difference of squares. And then we put the perfect square. So b and 2a, b and 2a, and then you put a plus in one of them and a minus in the other. It doesn't matter which one's a plus and which one's a minus, as long as you have that. Then you look carefully. We can't do anything there. There's nothing we can do there, and there's nothing we can do there. And there's how we would get our three marks. They'll probably give you one over here, and then somehow maybe two over there. Okay, for a total of three marks.